The interior of the studio was very busy. Several photographers were working at once, and each one seemed oblivious of the other. Mr. Lewis pointed out the various staff photographers, and some that were working on a freelance basis. He was hoping that Barbara, 10 or 12 years, not long enough for the idea to become completely accepted. He pointed out to Barbara Joe the extent of the nudity, the reason behind it, the commercial aspect as well as the artistic. Most of the girls working in the professional shoulder were ex-fashion models, far more so than in some other types of businesses at all. No proposition. They think all a model has to do to earn big money is stand still and look pretty. That is all they have to do, but this in itself can be very tiring. Un Like the other photographers, at work scheduled ahead, would have to be taken along with the other girls. He suggested that she walk around the studio watching the various techniques of the photographers and models and get to know some of the girls who might be helpful for many reasons. They always seem to know the best bargains in clothes. Where was the best place at the least amount of money to live? She envied their ability to take the whole thing with such matter of factness and calm. She's going to have to force herself at least awkwardly to appear the same. As her turn came and Barbara Joe got in front of the camera, her nervousness was still there, but she was able to hide it. Gaining confidence, she felt at last she was working. After so many months of frustration, it was a very good deal. <laughs> Thank you. 
money she made at Goose Incorporated to continue with her art education. After two years at a very fine art her parents... Thank you. 
As Barbara Jo came to the end of her first day's work, her tiredness was overcome by a feeling of happiness with her new surroundings. During the afternoon, Mr. Lewis had told her he would use her again. 